leaving Kaesong with everything they can carry. The last batch of South Korean workers scheduled to cross the border on the day of North Korea's deadline for evacuation. The South Koreans had been given a week to leave the jointly run industrial complex, under threat of a thermonuclear war. Kaesong, the most important symbol of inter-Korean cooperation, sits on the northern side of the demilitarized zone between the two Koreas. North Korea will probably launch a new type of missile called Musudan, which is a mid-range missile. Its range is about 3,500 kilometers. It depends on how far North Korea is planning to send it. It can fly short distances or long distances, just like their missiles did in the past over Japan. But life on both sides of the border carries on as normal with many Koreans saying they are used to such rhetoric and that they expect things to calm down again eventually. Neighboring Japan, though, isn't taking any chances, preparing interceptor rockets should any missiles be headed that way. Despite the deadline, close to 300 South Korean workers remain in Kaesong, many not wanting to abandon their posts, others lacking the vehicles to take them out. There is a fear now that they could become hostages. Food suppliers on the south side of the border have been trying to get in since last week. North Korea hasn't just blocked entry, it's now temporarily shut down operations. Relations between the two Koreas don't show signs of improving anytime soon. The South Korean government has said it has found evidence that North Korea was behind a major cyber attack last month that brought down media networks, banks and other private institutions. But the accusations being tossed in both directions across the Korean peninsula have wider implications, as the security of a far larger community also hangs in the balance. Margaret Al Jazeera, on the border between North and South Korea.